Hey y'all, today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to get this makeup look. This is my no makeup makeup look and also it can be a quick mommy makeup look. So if you're interested, keep on watching. I already have my face moisturized with the Savino Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I also have some lip balm on and it's going to be the Lush Honey Trap. First I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. It's new. I'm in the shade N2. It comes with this little, this little sponge here. I've tried it. I don't, I don't really like it. It's just not for me. I'm not sure why. I just don't like it. I will apply it with the sponge and then I'll go in with my brush. Just dab it all over my face. It says that it's buildable, so I'm not I'm not sure exactly how much coverage you can get out of it. I've not tried. I've only used it twice, but the two times that I've used it, I've been I've been very impressed with it. Now that I have it all over my face, I'm just gonna go in and blend it all in. Always try to work in motions going up, circular motions going up, because if you go down, you're pulling your face down, you're pulling your skin down, and it can cause wrinkles. So always try to try to work up. I swear by this beauty blender, it is definitely my favorite makeup tool. I have a off-brand it's not the the real techniques one I'm, I'm not sure which one it is but I do not like it so I would only recommend the actual beauty blender brand I think that's what it's called I'm not positive I want to say it's like $26 my husband couldn't believe I paid $26 for a sponge but it's what we use This is, like I said, this isn't, this isn't full coverage. This is more just like a, a your skin but better kind of thing. And since this is going to be my everyday mom look, I don't want anything that's going to be absolutely full coverage. Make sure you get on your neck and ear. You don't want any lines. I've got something in my hair here. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark Circles treatment concealer and I'm in this shade light. I'm pretty pale. I've kind of sworn off tan beds. I just go in in a V motion. Sometimes I'll bring it down by my nose right there. But do that on both sides. So far this is my favorite concealer. I really like it and then I do a cross on my chin I do it down my nose and I do a cross on my forehead once you have that done get your damp beauty blender again and just blend that out Now this camera isn't really the best for a makeup tutorial. I'm working on getting a new one. 
along with some new lighting. But you have to work with what you have. And right now this is all I have, so this is what we're going to do. And ignore, ignore this new hair growth. It's from, it's my postpartum hair. Now to set the concealer, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to use the medium, I'm sorry, the medium color there. It's the more pink one. I'm going to use that to set all of that concealer. And when you set your concealer, make sure you do it in tapping motions instead of rubbing it. Because if you rub it, it can get cakey and it just, it won't look good. So always try to tap under the eyes. And I forgot to tell you, whenever you set your, or you do your concealer with the beauty blender, always work in. Go, go the opposite way than you think you should go because it will set in, into the creases better. Now to set the whole face, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I just really like this to set my whole face. Um, it looks nice and it works well whenever I need to blend. And all of my makeup brushes that I'm going to be using are the Morphe brushes. They None of these have numbers, I'm not sure why, but I'll link them down in the bottom bar where you can find them. I'm just going to do this everywhere but I didn't use that lighter color on my for my concealer just set it so pretty much my whole entire face except for under my eyes and this is just gonna help this is gonna help blend your contour and your blush. Medium color here. Like I said earlier, I'm not really tan, so it's just work, what works well for me. Okay, I'm gonna set on my brush, and when you do your contour, a little cheat is, take your brush and roll it. When you find that, that dip, that's where your contour needs to sit. So it should run from about the top of your ear down to the corner of your mouth. But you never want to bring your contour in any more than the center of your eye because then it's going to it'll just make you look funny. So make sure you always stop before you get to the center of your eye. I'm still pretty new to the contouring thing, so I'm still learning. So if you have any techniques, feel free to share them in the comments, and I would love to learn from you guys. Okay, and I always go in and do it on my forehead and then I do under my my jaw here now that we have our contour don't worry we're gonna go back in and do some more blending I'm gonna take the same brush by Morphe that I used to set my under eye and I'm gonna just kind of sculpt that line out a little bit more using the same same colors I did earlier I'm gonna kind of bake it And I'm going to do it just a little bit above my forehead and down my nose and on my chin. Next, I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what color it is. I'll, I'll have it linked down below. And I'm just going to go on the apples of my cheek and move upward. 
and I'm using a really light hand on this. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna blend everything. Now when you blend, blend up. You don't wanna drag that contour down because it's gonna make your face look longer. So you wanna blend up. We're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I can't tell you how long I've had this. I've had it forever. The first shade we're going to use is going to be Naked. And we're going to put that in the crease of our eye. That's just going to be our transition color. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it in that crease. This this look that I'm doing today, it, it's nothing It's nothing elaborate. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just two colors on your eyelid. And of course, a highlight under your brow. This is my fast go-to when I don't have a lot of time to get ready between taking care of the baby or just being in a rush to get to work. This is usually the look that I do. Now I'm going to go in with the color Sidecar and it's a glittery shimmery color. And I'm going to be using an, an Avon brush. I've, I've had it forever. I don't even know if they still sell. But I'm just going to go in and put that all over the lid. I'm going to tap it in because it is glitter. So tapping it's better than rubbing it so you don't have too, too much fallout on it. I'm ha still having some fallout, but that's that's normal. Now I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that that naked color, and I'm gonna go back into that crease and just blend it all out. I'm gonna do circular motions and windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm going to go in and comb out my brows. I don't do much to my brows just because they're so dark and thick. Sometimes I'll put some, I'll try to line them, not line them, but fill them in sometimes, but not often. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is by far my favorite. Okay, I've got some I've got some on the outside of my eye here. The best thing to do when you get mascara on your skin is let it sit, let it dry. We'll go back in with a Q-tip and wipe it off. It'll come off, no problem. Won't smear or anything like that. I'm just going to go in with another coat on my top lashes. Those should be dry, so I'm going to go in with a Q-tip, clean it up. Comes off no problem, can't even tell it was there. Now I'm going to go in with some lipstick. I'm going to use the Merle Norman Lip Pencil Plus in the shade Cocoa Buff. Just 
you should turn it around. This end is liner, this end is color. So we're gonna go in with liner. Now you can be done after that step or you can go in like I'm going to and use some highlight. I just now got into the highlighting thing so I'm just going to put it on top of your cheeks. Just put it anywhere that natural light would hit. So I'm going to put it up on, my, on the top of my cheeks. And I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose and right above my cupid's bow. And now we are finished with that look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe. I'll have everything that I've used listed down in the bottom bar, all of the shades and everything. So stay tuned until next time. I have all kinds of fun videos coming up. Bye!